Hello, welcome back to my channel, Ask MCT Chris. In this session, we're going to look at how to embed holidays in our date table in Power BI. But before we start, let's watch my intro. In every data modeling, a date table is very important, especially so if we're going to do some time intelligence calculations. If we're going to create a date table, it is also important to refer to the public holidays and anniversary holidays in each country. And that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how to embed holidays in our date table. So I have here my Power BI desktop open and I have two tables in here, the dim date and the fact internet sales. And if we will dissect the dim date table, we don't have any holidays in there. Now I have a website in here that lists down all the holidays and anniversaries for New Zealand. So I'm just going to copy this URL, which is getting the holidays for year 2023. And then I'll go back to my Power BI desktop, choose the Get Data, choose the web, and then I'm going to paste the URL of that website into the URL text box and then I will hit OK. In the navigator, we can see in here that it will list down all the holidays for 2023 in New Zealand. And I'm going to choose Table 3 because it includes all the holidays and at the same time the anniversary days. So that it would be Table 3 and I'm going to transform the data and then I'm just going to rename the column in here as date and also the column two to be holiday. Now there might be some duplicate dates in here like for there might be some in here. So if you wanted to get rid of the duplicate and I think that would be January 30 because that would be Auckland and Nelson anniversary. So all I need to do is just right click the date column and I would say remove duplicates and you will now remove the duplicates uh, date. And now it's time for us to merge the holidays table and I'm just going to rename this holidays. And I'm now going to merge it with a dim date. So doing that, go to the merge queries, click on merge queries, and choose the full alternate key from the dim date, and choose the holidays, and choose the date, making sure that it is left outer join, and then hit the OK button. And you will now see that the holidays table is now in the dim date. All we need to do is is to expand this and just choose the holiday and then that will now be inside our dim date table. I'm going to right click this holidays table and I will say disable the enable load and then after that hit the close and apply and then that will now be added onto the dim date. And you can now see that we've got the holiday column inside the dim date and it will list down the holidays. And now we we'll need to create another column in the dim date, checking if the holiday field is blank, then that means that is not a holiday. And if it is not blank, then that means it's a holiday. So I'm just going to uh, name this is holiday and then call the is blank function passing on the holiday column 
So that is if is if it's blank, then that means it is not a holiday. And then all I need to do is reverse it by saying if it is not blank, then that means it is a holiday. And we will get here true or false. So for example, I'm going to just filter this and look at the true and then hit the OK button. And you will see now that these are the holidays in this table. And there you go. That is how to embed the holidays in our date table. I hope you've learned something from this session. If you did, please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe for more tips and tricks from me. Thank you for watching.